In this video I want to show you how to use R to calculate zonal statistics from a raster data set using both a raster and a shape file to define the zones you want statistics for. And so let me show you what I have here right now. And uh, we'll use this value tool to take a look at things. So this focus basins here, this is a raster of these different watersheds I want statistics for. Uh, this focus basins here is a shape file. And it's underneath these, so you can see the shape file there, and these are the rasters. Uh, now each of these, you'll notice every value here on the focus basins raster has a value of 3.0, here it's 2, there it's 1, 0, 5, and 4. So these areas all have the same value, uh, pixel value for the raster. Uh, and then I also have the shape file, which has these zones broken out. And so I'll show you how we're going to get uh, the statistics from this raster here for these zones using R. Now, uh, let me pull up our studio here. So the first thing that we want to do, and I'm going to start a new section, uh, and we'll just call this do setup. And uh, I just want to make sure my memory is cleared. And then I'm going to need a couple of libraries. We're going to need the raster library. And I'm going to need the R GDAL library. Uh, I'm going to set a working directory quickly here. I'm just going to copy and paste it since I already have it. Okay. And then uh, I need a file name. Uh, so this is going to be my raster file name and let me just pull that up real quick let's make sure I get the right one okay and so that's the raster I want to do and I'm just going to read this uh, raster in. Uh, it's just going to be a raster as a file name. Okay. So we've got that set up. Uh, let's just run this and make sure everything works. So we'll use Control Ender to run these in the console. Got that. Cannot change the working directory. Oh, and that's why, because this is spelled wrong. Oh, that's right. This should be RazFN. There we go. Okay. Now, what I need to do. Um, Let's use the the raster first. Um, so we can do section zonal stats with the raster zones. Okay. And we'll call this raster Z stats. And we're going to use the zonal command from the raster package. What I call I just called that Raz. Oh, and then I need to uh, make a new raster here, so we'll call this Raz Zone, and it is going to be a raster, and it needs to come. Let's get a file path here for that. Hold on just a moment. I 
gonna have to fix the path here. What I should do is I have QGIS here. I'm just going to close this out so I don't have interference with these files being opened in QGIS. Uh, so we'll discard that. And, okay, so we've got that file name. And so now we're going to do use our zonal. So zonal stats. So you want to get zonal stats from the raster. You want to use the raster zone. Okay. The function, uh, I'm going to get the mean digit. So this is going to be the, the number of the digits after the, the main value we have. Uh, three, and then remove the NA values, true. Okay. So let's run that. Uh, let's run this and see if it works. And it looks like it's run. Okay, so I'm going to move over to my console here and we'll just raz these stats and we'll see what that looks like. And you can see here I have my zones 0 to 5, so 6 zones, uh, and the mean value for each one of those zones. Pretty simple. Uh, now let's go ahead and do this with the shape file. Uh, so start a new section, zonal stats with shapefile zones. And so the first thing I want to do is get a shapefile zone. And here is where I'm going to use uh, our GDAL. And we're going to do read OGR. And this first one is going to be the path to a folder that contains my shapefile. And the second one will be the shapefile. So we want this. I want to just copy this over here. Um, fix the path here with double slashes. And this is going to be focus. Oh. So that's the folder. And then the file is going to be focus basins. Okay. Uh, and you don't need to put the extension on this. And then what we'll do next is we'll do shapefile z stats. And we use the extract command here. So we're going to do extract, and then our raster, and then our shapefile. And then the same thing, we're going to do function equals mean uh, data frame. We'll get our results of the data frame. And once again, remove NA values. Okay, now let's make sure this works. Control Enter. Okay, control enter, and this is going to take a little bit longer. Okay, and so what this error message here is, is that the, the coordinate system of the raster and the shapefile weren't the same, and so it transformed the, the shapefile to the coordinate system of the raster to complete this uh, operation. Okay, so now it's a data frame. Uh, let's, so let's go SHP. Z stats and see what we get here. And once again, you can see we have our ID number and then we have our overall mean. You can see these overall means are the same. The zone numbers are different because the raster, when it does it, starts at zero, just, just a conversion thing. Um, but we have the same data for each of those zones. Uh, so there you have it. That is how you can calculate the statistics for zones uh, with a shapefile and a raster using R.